Hey guys, so I want to do kind of um, a quick video. I literally got like four and a half hours of sleep because I had to work 11 hours yesterday. That was not fun. And I have to go to work or get ready for work in like an hour. So I just wanted to film a quick video. This is my Thrive Box. Ugh. Oh, High Carp Hannah was getting, hi Pooh. Say hi. Hi Carp Hannah was getting um, boxes or stuff from this and I wanted to kind of check it out. This is actually my second Thrive Box and I totally paid the $59 for the yearly fee. Um, I was kind of torn between Thrive and Vitacost, but Vitacost, you can't search for just vegan items, I don't think, or like narrow it down. And I'm fucking lazy, so <laughs> Thrive, you got my $59. And let's unbox it. Do you want to check it out? Say hi. Mwah. Okay. I don't even remember what I ordered. It's like Christmas when I get these. Okay. This is very true. I saved so much money buying from this. Gibby. Free gift for spending over $49. I know it's in here because you have to pay an extra $3 for this cool bag or whatever it's called. And one of the items that I buy in bulk, I have to pay for the cool bag. It's all wet. <laughs> they try. It's okay. Last time I got the salted caramel dark chocolate, I think. And this time I got the mint to try. They're Nugo bars. I found these at the nature store near where I live for the first time and I can buy these in bulk. I think it's only like $15 for this. I'm excited to try these. I love mint and chocolate. There's only been one thing since going vegan that I liked that tasted kind of like Junior Mints. I'm hoping these will be similar. Plus I just love these as a snack at work because it takes me like two minutes to eat and it gives me energy. So oh yes, rice cakes. I've been obsessed with these lately. These are the brown rice organic rice cakes. Put a little bit of peanut butter on these, a little avocado, uh, salsa. Good little snacks to have, one or two of these. Quick snack. I'm all about snacks, especially at work, because I don't have time. I don't have time to eat. I got this to try. It's like a miso soup one. So, I've never had this before. So I got some brown rice, because I've just been eating white rice. I wanted like a bigger bag. They don't sell anything bigger than this. This is only like $4 though, and this, brand Lundberg I know is a really good and expensive brand because at my grocery store I used to work at this stuff would have been like seven bucks probably or more oh okay good we have vegan sunscreen kiss my face is one of the deodorants I actually use the brand it said it was vegan and it should be cruelty free yeah no animal ingredients or testing I don't know if it'll focus I ran out of mascara and I definitely Forgot to get some at Target when we were in um, our old city that we used to live in because where we live now doesn't have a Target. So I got this off of there too. I think it was like $14. Um, I'm totally about buying like the cheap stuff from Target that's got no animal or doesn't test on animals, but I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money to make sure I have cruelty free if this is all I can really get my hands on right now. So got some Simply Stock to cook my vegetables and stuff in. It's the unsalted vegetable simple you know I mean we've all seen this before it's the Pacific brand to the canned goods for the lazy vegans okay so funny story about these is I got two of these cans of chili medium Amy's so I forgot that she puts tofu in here to be like mock meat and I actually tried this and I didn't like the consistency because it reminded me of ground beef before I was vegan, I hated ground beef. I hated the smell of it. I didn't really like burgers. My mom would make chili with ground beef or spaghetti with ground beef and I would pick around it because it just, the consistency grossed me out. The other funny thing is that I got Josh the spicy one because I have a super sensitive tongue and ketchup even burns my mouth. So I got him the spicy one, but he informed me that this one was a little bit hot for him. So now, Josh, you have four cans of chili because my tongue is too sensitive. Organic refried beans. Uh, low sodium. Amy's. I mean, I can't say enough about Amy's. I love her. I wish all of her stuff was just vegan though. Um, these aren't the, I mean, how do I put this? These taste good and I add a little bit of green sauce to them when I make them but they're nothing like Rosarita beans because these don't have a bunch of crap in them. Josh tried a can of these and said it was disgusting. 
And I said it's because your tongue's so used to all the sodium and um, just literally chemicals that are in the other stuff. This is organic, low sodium, good for you beans. And they're good in the burrito bowl with a little bit of rice, put a little avocado and salsa, and there's your dinner. I'm telling you, I'm lazy lately. Oh my God, I tried these in my last Thrive box. Absolutely in love. Field Day Organic Classic Baked Beans. I use a half a can of this with like a cup and a half of rice for lunch at work. And then I use the other half a can the next day. So this makes me two meals with rice. I'm just, I'm really all about rice and mixing stuff in rice. And don't get me wrong, I love potatoes too, but potatoes take a lot longer to make and they're more effort. What are you doing back there? And I get sick of potatoes faster than rice. I got some tomato sauce to make my own um, dipping sauce basically for when I do make potato fries. You can make your own like sauce for spaghetti, like spaghetti and stuff with that. Add a little garlic and everything. I got two cans of that. Black beans, because these are my favorite beans ever. I am obsessed with black beans. These are the organic, no salt added. And I should also mention all the cans I buy are BPA free. I really try and stay away from anything with BPA in it, especially like plastic bottles. It was weird because I went somewhere with my mom not that long ago and I drank out of a plastic bottle for the first time in like literally months. It was weird drinking out of it and it tasted funny. I was like, mmm, because I have a little filter that I get all my water from. Oh, I thought I had something else. It's empty. This will now be a cat's toy. You look closely. We have a wild Severus over here. Are you laying in the trash? But anyways, that is it. That's all I got from the Thrive Box. I'm sorry, this is a weird angle, but my camera's on a tripod. I'm gonna go wash my face, take a shower, and I'm gonna get ready for work. I'll see you guys uh, next video. Bye.